Let me ask you a question. Where does France start? Or where is the oldest neighborhood in France? According to many historians, the Bagne in Marseille. Throughout its history, the Bagne has been shaped by waves of immigration, trade, and cultural exchange from its origins as a Greek settlement to its transformation into a bustling medieval port. The district has witnessed the ebb and flow of continuous civilizations during the Middle Ages. The Bagne flourished as a hub of maritime trade, attracting merchants from across the Mediterranean. The district's maze-like streets and tightly packed houses reflect its whole as vibrant commercial center during this time. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the Bagne underwent further development with its construction of grand mansions and elegant squares. However, the district also faced challenges, including outbreaks of disease and devastating fires, which left the their mark on its urban fabric. Today we start our tour from important historic landmark Hotel Dieu. Now is the location of the luxury intercontinental hotel. You can watch another video for the tour of this magnificent historic landmark. When you are facing the Continental Hotel, the tour starts from left. Place Daviel, Daviel Place, Marseille birthplace, the second district of Marseille. Our visit starts from the church on the corner. The Church of the Agules is a historic landmark dating back to the 11th century, originally constructed as a chapel dedicated to the Virgin Mary. The architecture reflects a blend of Romanesque and Baroque styles. Now you can see La Vieille Charité. In this tour, we'll follow and two we central lines leading stairs. to the district's two primary historic landmarks. The Vieille Charité, we English, the Old Charity, and the Cathedral stairs. de la Mayo. They both now offer glimpses into its stored past. The Bagne. This district is very famous for the street arts. that you can see everywhere very colorful to appreciate each piece of art on the wall, even on the door. That's really the beginning point of immigration in Marseille. where you can find the traditions, special traditions of all of these immigrations.
open air square shadowed square the whole perspective of this lovely place local artists the colorful facades the dry there laundry i just cannot help taking pictures of this lovely war art Look at what I find, the Tarot de Marseille. The Tarot de Marseille is a traditional French tarot deck with a long history and distinctive artistic style. It dates back to the 18th century and is considered one of the earliest versions of tarot cards. Now let's take a little bit of time to talk about this piece of art. 13, that's the number, postcode of Marseille. Combine again with tarot cards of Marseille. Shadow, between shadow and the sunshine, the art on the wall. How beautiful it is, this mix. I love it. This one is quite surrealist. The Hiccup, I think, is the name maybe of this coffee. Maybe it's a coffee shop. Le Rue du Bagnier. Bagnier means basket in English. I really want to be lost in this district and walk around. that any objective just to walk like this all of these beautiful surprising art lots of souvenir stores local arts maybe the art from african north african that's the symbolic one this one is the iconic symbol of le bagnier district in marseille rue du bagnier Take time to appreciate life, the soul of the Bani. Bani, the beast of Madagascar, the spice of life, of Marseille. The first fountain was discovered for the old Marseille in medieval era. That is the fountain of life, beginning of Marseille. Cobblestones. Let's take a look. Surrounding. It's a really the game between shadows and light. 
That's always the case in Mark City. It's the charm of this medieval city overlapped by different histories, traditions, people. The Vieille Charité. Let's continue. From here, you can really have an idea of the old Marseille, the life. There is always squares, open squares, and of course, shadowed by Platane, typical tree of Provence, and people gather together and to chat, to gossip enjoy the aperitif, this kind of square we can find everywhere in Marseille. Now let's continue to take a, a closer look at this art, look at this. this. I suggest that we can take a bit time to each corner to appreciate the art. Now in front of you, that is the Vieille Charité, the old charity. That is the Vieille Charité, the Rue de la Charité. We are in front of this historic site, in front of this Charité, Greek well, profondeur 2.56 mètres. La Vieille Charité, the old charity, a historic monument built in the 17th century. It was originally intended as a hospice for the poor and needy. Designed by architect Pierre Buget, the building is renowned for its architectural beauty, characterized by its symmetrical facade and elegant courtyard. This is the entrance that we have to check our bags by security. Look at this peaceful courtyard. Let's go upstairs to have an idea of inside of this building. Museum site. Département d'Égyptologie. Voilà. Let's continue to go to the third floor. You follow me, of course. Stay with me. That's the best time, I think, that I can find this beautiful color on the facade. On the third floor, you can find another museum, Africa. It's better to spend here at least half a day to check all of the museums. Uh, inside, I don't think that we can film. Now I'm in another side of this lovely building. Before leaving this lovely place, I want to really again take this uh, a perspective of beautiful sky, facade, colorful facade, and this historical building, 
Charity. All of the plants, spice, creatures living in this area. Take a look. So, small jardin botanier. Leaving the Vie Charité, I continue along this streets, narrow street called Petit Buis, the little well. Let's take a look what we can find. 12 p.m. So the sun is above. Let's take a look at the difference between the quality of light. Definitely, it's very strong sunshine. Look at this. The window is, is apple green on the pastel, as we call it, maybe the color. And people talk. Yeah. Through the window, a gentleman stands in the street and he's talking with the Madame, from the window. Local artists use all kinds of objects that they can find. Shoes, little glass jars, and to make art. So they can, at the same time, I think it's their terrace that they can join their definitive, maybe. Yeah, look at these plants. It's amazing to live like open air and another side there is a library i think they live really half inside and half in the streets that's they built this lovely garden okay, from this side i think color is even more beautiful Voilà une cigare symbole de Provence. We need you to make the world. Look at this display of paintings in the streets. Is it amazing? Look at this. I really want you enjoy that and put your comments below how do you feel the soul of the banier let's take a look and then let's move to another side to continue this little exposition open air exposition i don't know if they gather them to put them inside in the, during the night or not, but it's amazing, quite. Yeah, that's it. Express the uh, creation. That's amazing. Let's continue this exposition in the street of the Banier. I like this one very much. That's the. I think this one is the Notre Dame de la Carte. Now you see this quaint place with a lovely bar, iconic, charming bar nestled within these historic streets of Marseille. Bar de Treze Guin, Treze 13, postcode of Marseille, Bouche du Rhône, starts from 13. Guin in French means corner. Another restaurant called the Gondoir aux Ules.
Oh, it's the flowers, the plants. Is it lovely? A chateau on the wall. Let's continue to see. It's kind of surprise we can discover. Really lovely is blue. Even this little creature, it's in blue. Continue to see. Look at this one fish and seahorse together with another creature of the ocean that is the lovely coffee shop i have my lunch in this lovely restaurant let's take a look at all of the patisserie italian or croissant oh, that's very sweet this perspective take a look at how lovely this little terrace with the backdrop of ocean the life in the ocean because the owner she worked in the cruise ship let's take a look at inside of this lovely italian restaurant ostoria which serves delicious breakfast lunch afternoon tea and aperitif now what is interesting i'm going to show you is here for airbnb they give all of these lockers here that's so interesting the tenant can come here to get the key with the code so that's a uh, very special now you understand that how it's going to work lovely the oldest district not one of them but the oldest district in Marseille. Marcel Bagnol, that's the one of the greatest writer in France. In the Rue de Refuge, you can find this painting. Des moyens pour l'éducation, the method of education. École communale de filles. For girls, the school for girls. That's the Rue de Refuge where there is a museum, the art for children. This is the very interesting historic area that we call the Monde de Zakul. You can read by yourself. Dedicated entirely to children. That's why we see all of these children. They're waiting for the opening of the museum. So that is the entrance of the museum. All of the children are waiting. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. Your support helps to grow my channel. All of the language we can smile, of course. You can see all of this. That's so lovely. Let's continue.
be the blue earth, Mediterranean blue, ocean blue. Let's continue to work. This I call it a little alley for the local artists to show their creativity. And we have visitors, tourists from all over the world to check this place. Look at this. Look at this art. We have to say, wow. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. That's a good perspective. Look at this. That's the modern art, street art. And then you have the ancient church and there's a backdrop mix of history arts and different traditions the soul of the bunny The lavande? Oui, the vrai lavande. to show you these windows different colors the stairs of history the stairs of the past the stairs to discover a new modern era with pieces of history. The difference of people, tradition and history in peace. I make the whole district Le Bernier. Now I return to the hotel and if I continue. Now you can see that is the entrance of the Intercontinental Hotel. The starting point of our tour this morning now I must return to the Banier to show you another must-see beauty, Cathedral de la Mayo. You can follow the sign leading to the cathedral when you are in the Banier district. When you descend to the hills of the Banier from the ocean side, you will spot this giant cathedral just near the ocean. Let's take a look. Okay, let's continue towards the ocean. Voila, can you see that? That's the Cathedral, Cathedral de la Mayo. A gigantesque cathedral. So I want to show you from this perspective. So on the right, that's the Mary City Hall for the second arrondissement. 
Now I want you to show you from this angle to have a better perspective of this cathedral. Far away you can see the cruise ship. That is Marseille Provence Cruise Terminal, MPCT. The Cathedral de la Mayo is a stunning architectural masterpiece and an iconic landmark of Marseille, built in the 19th century. In the Neo-Byzantine style, it stands as a symbol of Marseille's rich cultural heritage. The cathedral's grandeur is evident in its vast dimensions intricate facade adorned with intricate mosaics and imposing twin towers. Inside the spacious nave, ornate decorations and majestic organ, the Cathedral de la Mayo continues to be a place of worship and a major tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world to admire its beauty and historical significance. Now I invite you to immerse yourself in this grandeur and beauty of the Cathedral de la Mayo. Cathedral de la Mayo, you have the district de Bagné on the left, and then in front you have the musée Missem in the front. From the Rue de la Cathedrale, that's the perspective you can have. Isn't it? Gorgeous. Then we arrive to a typical square of Marseille. Now I stand in the middle of the square. In front of me, that's the Notre Dame de la Carte, the goddess of Marseille who protects Marseille. And now let's take a look this square. That's very typical Marseille Square that we can enjoy sunshine, lunch and a beautiful perspective. Square called Place de Lange. We can take a closer look of this Henri Trousseau, the Maire de Marseille. Very well indicated. The musée now I'm facing to the Notre Dame de la Garde and the old port. To my left, 10 minutes of walking, I will be back to the starting point of this morning, the Intercontinental Hotel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. Your support helps to grow my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.